Okay, so it has been a minute since I've done a Tank Tuesday video. Um, this isn't going to be on Tuesday, but I figured might as well kind of update you guys on Chunk, Loki, and Freckle. <clears throat> as you can see, Chunk is doing phenomenal. Um, if I had to guess... I would say she's somewhere around 14 inches, roughly. Um, well, let me turn this water or air pump down a little bit. It's a little, little hummy. I just kind of cleared it out a little bit. Read. That pump you have to uh, kind of disassemble every like few months. It gets a little clattery. You got to take it. It kind of like bends the metal tabs a little bit. But here is Chunk. She's she's a she's a big old girl now. Um, <clears throat> if I had to assume. I would say these are there's four beams on the front of this tank here so each beam would be like a foot and a half apart um, a little bit better than a foot and a half so she comes to about right here so she's you know 13 14 inches long Freckle is back there. She, I just put this light up here. Um, the light bar thingy that I made, I uh, kind of figured that it would give some issues at some point because this tank has open top, like the glass. I don't have a uh, like a canopy for this tank because it's it was made in '89, I think. I'm pretty sure it was made in '89 and back then they just used really thick glass so <clears throat> there is no center support on this tank and it was actually this company I think that made this tank turned into marine land uh, I think uh, the same company that made the 75 gallon that I have uh, made this tank but like I said back in the like the late 80s so it's just a really heavy glass tank there's no support anywhere so you have to get like a special type of uh, top for it Loki must be behind yeah you can kind of see him there um he's like 10 9 or 10 inches long he hasn't grew nearly as fast or as big as as chunk down there um i'm telling you she is camera shy though like if she senses that there's a camera she kind of doesn't like she come over for a little bit but she's she's getting a little bit I, I turned the water temperature up because the 75 is no longer um, there's nothing in the 75 right now <clears throat> and uh, that was also a pretty good heater for the room so I didn't have to have the tanks heated up or cranked up as much because they were both kind of helping warm up the room and it's kind of like a helping hand effect this heats up the room the 75 helps heat up the room and then once the room heats up they kind of piggyback off of each other and kind of keep it all warm so whenever the 75 stopped heating up the room this tank kind of started getting a little on the chilly side so I turned it up a little bit she's a little bit more active uh, she still loves to just lay on the bottom and be lazy 
but I'm gonna sit you guys down. I've already fed them, but I didn't feed them a whole lot. And you guys can kinda see the bear. I'll feed them a little bit more and uh, guarantee you she'll come over and eat. See, there's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, that's just no, that's ten. There's two. Okay, so I put them in there. See how long it takes for her to smell them. She's on the other side of the the pump, so it might take a little bit. Oh, there's Loki. He come out and ate one. He's got a little bit of a deformed snout. I thought he might be a dolphin head, which is like a pretty rare thing. Oh, he, he, he backed up. Now, let's see. Yeah, uh-huh. There she goes. She smells them now. Well, you missed one. Loki will get it. Nope, 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 she got it. There's Loki. He's kind of like he looks healthy. He's very he's very good size, like weight. But he's got a little bit of a crooked nose. And that happens. That's actually one of the things that people, <clears throat> one of the reasons why they kind of turn away from getting a shovel nose is they do kind of get a weird snout a lot of times. Uh, but Chunk is absolutely beautiful. Her tail is nice and red. It's a little bit dark because the lights, my my room lights are red. The skull is red. Um, the tank, the 75, it has, it isn't on right now. Um, it's actually just got some tadpoles in it. Um, kind of an explanation on the 75. I mentioned an alligator. I was going to get one. But, um, the one that I was going to buy, the power flipped, the breaker flipped in the reptile room that the guy that had her was in, and she did not make it as well as a lot of his other animals did not make it. Um... And right now, alligators are just kind of a hard thing to come by. So, this tank is 16 inches front to back. So she might be a little bit bigger than 14, 13 or 14. Uh... I don't have a measure. I don't have any way to measure her right now. Um, but, like I said, I was planning on getting an alligator. But, freak accidents happened. And my alligator that I had picked out. And I had been holding on to the money for. Passed away. And it kind of. Shocked me. And. I thought, man, I don't know how they would be so fragile, but I really turned away from it because I, I, I know just from holding it for just a few minutes, I got so attached, and if I would 
um, get one and have it for a couple months and something happened like that it would be absolutely devastating and also I started I, it, it's like a it's like a pipe dream kind of thing like I, I want one I still do want one really really bad but owning an alligator extremely limits where you can live or move and that really sort of put a damper on places that you could go if you own an alligator there's many states that they are just completely banned there are states where you can keep them but you have to pay like two hundred and fifty dollars a year for a permit so I've kind of turned away from alligator for now maybe sometime down the line something will kind of fall in place and it'll happen but what I plan on doing now is a red tail boa like a, Com a Colombian red tail boa um, they get like 12 13 feet long a female does males stay smaller at like six to nine feet so it really I don't care whether I would get a male or female I held a 12 foot uh, platinum tiger so and his name was Jake and he was a sweetheart so it just all depends on how you handle them and if you care for them and love on them and hold them and you know give them love and attention then they're just like any other like a ball python just take some handling and a little bit of experience and they are completely docile um, even at 12 foot long giants they're little babies but you remember way back I said she had a birthmark and I wondered if it would stick for her whole entire growth and if you just seen that little dot on her in, in her fin that is what I was talking about and also if she when she comes back around here she has a weirdly shaped uh, I don't want to know I, I don't want to like ruin the fins because there's a anal fin dorsal fin pectoral fin it's the fin on the top between her tail fin and the top main fin um, which her top main that that top big fin the, it's so beautiful she's an absolutely amazing beautiful fish but if she would ever make her way back over here I would show you if you you might have noticed it if I mentioned it the one that's in the middle on top it has this little like notch took out of it and it's like a little kicker it's got like a little um, spear point to it but it's like a rounded off point um, that has stuck with her the long haul and her little scar around her eye which I was kind of why I named her chunk that and the fact that she she always stayed super fat and healthy looking from like she getting her to eat has never been an issue if I have these massive ores she this is the only thing that she will eat um, I put live fish in there goldfish and I'm pretty sure these two ate more of them I didn't even see her eat unless she just come out at night and pucked them off but I mean my animals are so weird it's like you see people and they're like oh if you get a red tail in oh, she yawned oh I don't know if I caught her or not she yawned um, they say oh if you put a fish in there that's as big as their mouth that anything they can fit in their mouth they'll eat and it's like oh that's guaranteed a hundred percent she'll eat whatever gets in her she can fit in her mouth has not been the case and you see 
the little speckle spot on that fin that's been there for the longest time and it actually kind of does look like it's healing a little bit but I hope she keeps that little pop hole in that fin that's very characteristic and I that's an easily distinctive mark if I would get another one I would definitely be able to tell yep that's chunk um, plus the the scuff around her eye but that is the the 125 great chunk is amazing Loki is doing great freckle honestly seems to be more camera shy than chunk but they're all healthy they're all doing great um, I know I hadn't updated you guys in a while on the tank nothing nothing happened just kind of doing more outside things the I made a video on the truck that I'm going to be doing um, when we're posting uh, probably as my next video then um, skinning out the the fox that I caught um, so I've got some plan I haven't really had videos lined up to post in a while so feels pretty good getting back into the swing of things editing starting back editing is a little bit weird but right now I'm just doing more cut paste copy cut splice nothing really fancy so yeah chunk is doing fantastic she's super healthy um, I can't honestly I don't know how long I've had her but she's not outgrew the tank yet um, the hot tub outside is holding water just fine uh, so that's ready for her I guess um, but yeah let's see if I, can, I wanted to see if she might yawn again because it's really really funny to watch her yawn it's kind of cute um, and she's not aggressive like she just does not seem aggressive at all um, I, I did I don't know if um, I video I didn't know if I talked about it or not but Levi is no longer here um, I moved him into the 75 and started setting up um, a buyer and again the buyer kept pushing off the days pushing back the days well Levi got very sick I don't know if it was from stress being moved or what but he shed his slime and just got really 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 sick and he would like stand completely upright well float completely upright and then kind of snap out of it and then do the same thing and he, he just got really really bad so unfortunately I did have to euthanize him um, but it just happens you know a lot of bad things happen in the aquarium industry you know you can't just like move them to a different lot they're they're fish they need water I mean you, you, it's, it's very hard to move a large fish to a different tank you have to like if you don't have multiple giant tanks and it, it's hard um, they never the, the place that I got him from never told me he was aggressive but I guess now that I look back he was all alone in a 125 whenever I bought him so I probably should have pieced that together um, but yeah Levi's gone Loki healthy uh, freckle healthy chunk healthy all of them are doing great 
Thanks for watching, and uh, I will see you guys next time.